Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you this super easy and delicious southern peach cobbler. recipe you will need half a cup of butter, one cup of milk, one tablespoon of baking powder, one cup of flour, a tablespoon of lemon juice, two cups of sugar divided into one cup portions, four cups of sliced peaches. These peaches are from my peach tree in my backyard. They are fresh and ripe and also a pinch of salt and cinnamon which is optional. Your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and then you're going to stick your butter in to melt. I have cut mine up into chunks. This is just half a cup of butter and I'm just going to put it in there to melt. Then in a large pot I'm going to pour in one cup of sugar, four cups of peaches, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. And you're going to go ahead and stir this until it comes to a boil. It's going to look very dry to start off with but once you start cooking it up on high heat the peaches will actually release their juice and you will start to see more liquid form and it will come to a boil. But you need to stir constantly. Make sure you do not stop stirring. It's very important to keep stirring. Once your liquid starts to boil, you can go ahead and turn the heat off and put your peaches aside. Now for the crust of your cobbler, you're gonna go ahead and mix in the one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and you're gonna mix those up and then add in your one cup of milk. You don't wanna over mix this, so just mix it until it's incorporated. It will definitely be lumpy. It will not be a smooth texture. Now in your melted butter, you wanna go ahead and add in the mixture for your crust. You do not wanna stir this. You just wanna pour it in there. It'll look weird and separated. But trust me, it's going to turn out just fine. And then you're also going to pour in your peaches. I try to spread mine throughout the entire pan. I'm using a foil pan today because this is actually for a potluck. But you don't want to stir these either. You just want to pour them in there. And then you can sprinkle the top with some cinnamon. This is optional. I find it tastes really good, but it's definitely not necessary. Then you're going to pop this into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. And here's mine after exactly 45 minutes. It is nice and golden brown. It is going to be very delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe video. This is super easy to make and super tasty, especially now when the peaches are in season. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So we had a lot of catching up and cleaning up to do, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. 